Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler and artist here on YouTube, and today I'm going to paint a shark in my Bible. I know, that's kind of crazy, but it's Shark Week, and yeah, I found a place to put my shark to remind myself of something God spoke from Deuteronomy 12, 32. See that you do all I command you. Do not add to it or take away from it. And I'll talk a little bit more about the context of that in just a moment, but I thought I would explain what I'm doing here with my shark. Sharks, when they're swimming straight at you, are kind of just a round or oval kind of body with a little face on them. You can make a happy shark and put smiley face on them, um, or you can do like frowny face by putting little eyebrow, like frowny eyebrows on them. And it has two little fins from each side, a fin at the top, and then I'm gonna stick a fin from his tail sticking out of the back in a minute because that just sort of made him seem like he was swimming, but you could get away with just doing this much of it. If you clearly show in your drawing or in your painting, whichever medium it used to make a shark, if you make it look like it's definitely a shark, definitely underwater. My whole kind of vision for the page was to make dark murky colors at the bottom, big scary colors, and then lighter colors at the top and put my text up in the top area. This is leftover paint from a previous painting that I did. Clearly I was doing a landscape with some water in it, so I had all those kind of colors at hand. And I'm gonna start by painting around my little pencil drawing first. This is gonna create, if I let that edge right around the shark dry before I do anything to it, it's going to harden and give me a hard edge, but I wanna let the other areas around it stay wet and mushy and start to blend those, but not the areas right around the shark. So I'm working kind of quickly so that I only have that one edge right around the shark that stays solid. Because then when I go over it later with another layer, if it's dried and I've gotten that kind of hard edge, which sometimes you get unintentionally, this is a way to use it intentionally so that you hold that a little bit of that detail. So I'm gonna use a baby wipe to mush out the color on the edges so that I don't have hard edges in the water. And then I can start tapping in a little bit of color into the shark itself. Just pick it up straight from the palette and put some on the, the water, in that watery area. And then I can also put some in the shark and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a highlight on the top of the shark because I want him to just sort of be a menacing thing down there at the bottom as opposed to a main image in this. But nonetheless, the reason for a shark being in my Bible today while I finish this painting is a sermon that my pastor has delivered in the past, the one who just left my church. And I'm kind of going back and thinking through all the things that I've learned from him. And one of them was really powerful in my not so distant past. Because my pastor talked about when God calls you to do something and you don't want to do it anymore, you don't just pick up and leave you wait for your next assignment. And he told us stories about having planted a church somewhere and he was miserable where he was and it was not going well. And then he just finally gave up and decided, okay, God, you know, fine, I'm stuck here. That's just fine. And then all of a sudden he was very happy there. And once he w once God gave him another assignment, he had another place to go and he was supposed to go to another church, then it was hard leaving because he had found joy in the place that he was. Well, I don't know if I'm necessarily at the place of finding joy where I was in this particular circumstance in my life, but what I found was I was at a job, I had worked there for many, 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 many years without a promotion, and I was miserable, and I was unhappy, and I, I wasn't filled with any joy, but hearing him talk about his experience and how miserable he was, and he just kind of sucked it up and did it anyway, I just stayed there and I said, God, just give me some kind of joy here. And I didn't find the joy, but I found the ability to stay. And I stayed until that assignment was done. And then one day, he just, in the middle of nothing, just out, out of the blue, I heard him say, it's time to go. Now. And within three days, I turned in my notice and I left that job and I have not looked back <laughs> ever since. Um, I was finally able to quit and start my own business as an artist. It took a lot of those years of slogging away. It was 10 years of begging God to let me go. 10 years of praying through it for him to say now. But I learned during those 10 years so much. 
so much about my own character, so much about running a business, running a business with integrity. Uh, I just, I learned so many things from both positive and negative examples of, at the place where I was that I am successful now because of that. It, it took a lot of the things that I learned in that experience. And I know it's God's wisdom, totally his wisdom, but it was hard to do at the time. But what I have found is that when I'm not in his will, if I had left before he said to go, then I might have had all kinds of problems in my life now. My business may not have succeeded. I may have had to end up going out and seeking another job and who knows where I would have ended up. But I know that he has used every experience in my past to get me where I am. And so staying in his will and in his word is the safest place to be. So if he's called you somewhere and you want to get out, work toward that joy, just giving it over to him. But even if you don't end up with that joy, just know that he's going to release you in his time. And you don't want to do it outside of his time. You want to do it in God's season <laughs> when he's ready for you to go and do something because he's the one with the details and we're not. So the rest of this was done with watercolor pencil, the rest of the detail that I added. And then I wrote the text on there with a micron pen. The safest place to be is in the will and the word of God. And this whole page is to remind me to stay out of the danger zone of making my own decisions and not waiting on him. When he says it's time to go, it's time to go. When he says it's not, then just stay where you're at because there's sharks out there and they might get you. So there you go. My reason for having a shark in my Bible. I will see you guys again next week. Have a wonderful week ahead and go do some beautiful art in your Bible. Join our Facebook group and share what you're making. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.